I love brownies, but I also adore white chocolate. So instead of making brownies, I'm going to make blondies. And these particular blondies are peanut butter and white chocolate blondies. I love the flavor of peanut butter with white chocolate. It's kind of, you know, the, the salty with the sweet just works so well. And you still get the very fudgy, quite dense texture that you get in a chocolate brownie. So first of all, I'm going to take the butter. And this is 100 grams of soft butter with 150 grams of peanut butter. I like to use a crunchy peanut butter because you get the lovely crunch of the peanuts in the blondies when they're actually cooked. You can, if you prefer, use a smooth peanut butter. So, beat them up. You can do this with a wooden spoon in a bowl. I'm just using a hand mixer. And beat up the butter and the peanut butter until it's really light, soft and creamy. Once it's nice and pale like that, then add in one teaspoon of vanilla extract. There. You could, if you prefer, use a little bit of grated orange rind instead of the vanilla in here. 175 grams of light golden sugar and one egg. And then beat it all again. On a slow speed, first of all, and then speed it up until it's kind of light and creamy. Okay, and I've got a nice soft mixture like this. Perfect. Now I'm going to chop up 75 grams of white chocolate. Just chop it into quite small pieces, like little chocolate chips. There. Yum. Stir them in and then sift in 125 grams of plain flour and a teaspoon of baking powder. And the recipe, as you can see, is really fast. They're so good. They will keep for a few days because they are a little bit fudgy and moist. I love these to have with a cup of coffee just in your hand as you're walking around or sitting down relaxing. But they're also great for a dessert to have, say, dinner party dessert with a lovely scoop of vanilla ice cream, a really good vanilla ice cream with these. And the blondies should be kind of slightly warmed up to serve with the vanilla ice cream. So stir the mixture all together. It's done. Made. The tin is prepared. It's a 20 centimeter square tin. I have lined the base with a square of greaseproof or parchment paper and I've buttered the sides around the edges. So then you just mm, put the delicious mixture into the tin and then I'll spread it out. Spread it out evenly in the tin and slightly smooth over the top. Okay. That's it, ready to go into the oven. The oven's preheated to 170 degrees and these will take about 25 to 30 minutes to cook. They'll be nice and golden brown on top and the center will be just set. You can either feel it with your finger or if you stick a skewer in, the skewer will come out clean. So when it feels nice and firm, when you just press it gently in the center, take it out of the oven and set it aside in the tin to allow it to cool. Now, once the blondies have just slightly cooled in the tin, then you can take them out. Mmm, gorgeous. And cut them into squares. One, I'm going to cut these into 16 squares. One, two, and three. Look at that gorgeous, slightly moist, fudgy texture with chocolate chips, still a little bit warm, and crunchy peanuts. Dusting of icing sugar. So there are the peanut butter and white chocolate blondies.